Hello everybody. I was asked, asked today to deal with the question of whether one is allowed to subscribe for life insurance. First we need to explain the question. Why shouldn't you be able to subscribe for life insurance? This is a question of trust and effort. Bitachon v'ishtadlut. We all have an obligation to trust in Hashem. But does that mean that I can just sit at home all day and wait for Hashem to bring me the money I need in order to be able to buy food and to live and support my family? No, it doesn't. It means that I have an obligation to make ishtadlut. That's to make an effort to go out and earn the money that I need to support my family. We find that Adam and Eve, Adam and Chava, were, when they were created, they were in the Garden of Eden. They had everything. They didn't need to do anything. Everything was there on a plate for them. After they did the, 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 the chet of the eight sadat, that they ate from the forbidden fruit that Hashem had commanded them not to eat from, they were expelled from this tremendous place where everything is just provided for for you. And they were told, From now, you're going to have to work hard to plow the land and sow in order to make a living, in order to be able to feed yourself. The happy days of Gan Eden are finished now. From that time onwards, we have an obligation to make an effort. We always have to know and trust that everything is from Hashem. We make an effort and then Hashem gives it to us as a gift. That's the way it works. We make an effort of going out to work, of doing the things that we need to do in order to earn a living, and Hashem gives it to us as a gift. But we know that in our times we have to make that effort. They say about the Chafetz Chaim that he wanted to support himself. He didn't want to live from charity money. He opened a shop. He used to just keep the shop open for an hour or two each day until he'd made enough money for the day, for the next, next day maybe, and then he would close the shop because he's made enough money now for today. He doesn't need to keep the shop open anymore and he had perfect trust in Hashem that tomorrow he's going to make the money he needs for tomorrow. He didn't need to store it up in his fridge. He didn't need to store it up in his safe. He was sure that he'd have everything he needed and so therefore he didn't have to, he only kept his business open for a couple of hours each day. When we're on the level of the Chafetz Chaim, we can also do that. And we can be sure that Hashem will fulfill our needs because everything is in the hands of Hashem and everything comes from Hashem. All our brachot, all our parnasa, all the money we're making, it all comes from Hashem. But we have an obligation to make ishtadlut. That's to make the effort that's needed in order to earn that money. That's what life insurance is. Taking out a pension. Would you say that I'm not allowed to take out a pension because that's not trusting in Hashem? That He's going to provide for me when I'm over, when I'm over the age of 65, 70? Is that not, is that, is that, would that be considered as I saw? That's clear, I think, to everyone that you're allowed to do that. And it's certainly the way we're living nowadays. Everyone takes out a pension. So the same thing I think is true with life insurance. Life insurance is a thing today that is not considered as some type of strange thing that only certain people would do. It's become a very common thing that almost everyone does. And therefore, it comes in to be in the realm of normal ishtadlut, of normal effort that is expected of someone that yes, he should take out life insurance to ensure that if he's not around to look after his family, then they will be looked after. That is certainly something that would be expected of a normal person. I think the question on the contrary should be, is a person allowed not to take out life insurance? Maybe that should be the question. So to summarize, yes, there is, um, you are certainly allowed to, sub to subscribe for life insurance and it could be that you have an obligation to do so in order to make sure that your loved ones are going to be looked, afterwards, look, looked, looked after afterwards. Thank you.